Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Deceased Craft, the final one before Vault Hunters begins. Although, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably after Vault Hunters has started. Anyway, since we last left off, I haven't actually done anything. Although, I do want to go downstairs a little bit and maybe, like, sleep things off so that we're not as cold. <laughs> Been dealing with this for a long time. And we need to make the Barrett 50 Cal. Along with some, a little bit of ammunition, not a whole lot of ammunition, unfortunately, but some ammunition. We didn't get more at that other military base that we were at recently, and it's also a bit of a, ooh, do I really want to go all the way back? <laughs> all the way out to there, in order to try to run it back. Also, it's dangerous, very dangerous. Oh, our chunks have actually thickened a little bit. So it should run a little bit smoothly if we do decide to drive up into that location. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to Captain Sparkles too, in order to catch everything, as well as twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles. So, all right, what we need in order to uh, run things here with the fitty is we're gonna need high carbon steel, 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 just every type of variety of steel. Aluminum, duraplast, and then something that is probably hidden off screen, if I had to guess. So let's just grab all the steely boys there, and then our high carbon, and then duraplast. And then what was the final one there? It was uh, aluminum. Aluminium, and then maybe, I don't know, one of the springs or something like that. Possibly I'll just have some in my inventory in case, although it might ask for some other dongers and stuff like that. We'll see. And Barrett, what do we need? Ah, netherites and rubber. Okay, do we have any netherite scrap? If we don't, it's okay, because we are able to get a lot more. Without too much difficulty, fortunately. So we can take our hammer ton, and we can take our uh, netherite... And we get back 50% efficiency. And then what was the last thing? Ah, oh, yeah, rubber. All right. Here it goes, everybody. It is Fitty Cal time. Boom. There we have it. There we have it. And we could use a scope. Probably be good, because we don't have... Did we get any big scopes when we were... Ooh, old 8X. I don't know if that'll actually work. Ooh, standard 8X, though. That is very nice. Let's pop that onto there. Yes, sir. And then, boom. All right. We are fitty calling. I guess I can also extended mag the thing. If I am hip firing this in order to stay alive or something like that inside of the library. The library? The laboratory. They both start with L's. So, oh, you know. Um, coyote sight? Really? Wait. Really? Just do a coyote optic on this and just. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. Mr. Gigachad says just do a uh, coyote optic. Just the red dot sight on the fitty cal. Hmm. If you say so. I also, though. Oh, God. Which gun? I don't know which gun has an extended mag on it right now. Oh, I have a spare one, so you know what? Or maybe I took it off and just popped it into the system. So that's good. Well, extendo mag, and that's basically all you can do here, other than, um, all right, what, it, what does it take? Yeah, yeah, no, of course, I'm going to do enchanting with the, uh, re-frick. It's like, the one thing that I, for some reason, like, I can never actually remember the name. Oh, I might actually have an optic. Oh, I have some. Because we lo we looted that military base. Okay, really? This is what we're going to do. It looks so little, little dinky on top of the thing. We got that handle. Someone out there is going to be like, uh, actually, the name for that little handle coming off into the upper right is a very... It's its called the Reloadification Donger. You should uh, know your guns more properly. And um, uh, to that I say, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever, so sorry. I'm, I just don't know. Um, but anyway, it's called the Chewing Stick. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. The more you know, the more you know. Anyway... Here's our fitty cal dongers. Um, let's see. And I think we're going to be able to make, like, a whopping um, 27 more. I think 27 more using the uh, uranium that we 
currently have. Actually, maybe, no, maybe a little bit more. Wait, no, because this is gonna be that. That's gonna go 27 nuggets, but each nugget, does it go to a single bullet, I think? Oh, there's a two. Oh, I'll be able to make like 54 more. Okay, that's not a bad deal right there. Unless I wanna go and set up an arc furnace, which will take several episodes in and of itself because we would need to make the industrial squeezer, possibly to get graphite, coal coke, or we'd have to do um, trading with a villager in order to hopefully get the graphite that we would then use in order to do the thing and multiply the uh, stuff and the things or get the the mining machine to hopefully use that in order to find ore veins of uranium which takes absolutely ages to find the place where you can mine the ore veins. It's a whole extended process and I'm just gonna stick with this for the time being. Um, okay, so we have a little bit of gun pow pow here that we saved just for the purposes of doing some 50 caliber ammunition. And um, now do we have any bullet stuff there? No, we don't. Let's go get some of the brass. And then we've got our thing over here. Okay, very good, very good. And then I guess I could just leave the presses in this chest like I did last time around. And then, oh wait, oh frick, oh god, oh frick. Nope, stop, 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 stop. I did a boo-boo. I did a boo-boo with that. We got incomplete bullets, but that's okay. And there we go. I think I caught it in, in the nick of time, actually. Okay, so let's throw a little bit more gun pow pow there. And uh, look at us, look at us getting some big bullets, big bullets out here. Oh wait, hold on, I'm gonna have to like, uh, and we're out. But hey, that's not a bad amount of 50 cal. I kind of feel like uh, it's something I probably should have done in between episodes. Just going underground and checking if by any chance we can find any uranium ore veins. I think if you just go really, really deep, that's kind of the best chance that you have. Um, let's pop some BMG in there and then do an autofill, and and we're gonna we're gonna try to be like a little sparing when it comes to our usage on this. And <clears throat> I mean, apparently we're red dotting so that we can just freaking pop off inside the laboratory or something like that if it comes down to it. But hopefully we won't have to get ourselves into a pickle like that. But we'll be able to, you know, sort it out in case, and then also alert every other zombie in the vicinity in, in an eight mile radius of our presence. Uh, Volrath Stormborn, thank you for the 10 sub gifts. That is very kind and generous of you to do. And very awesome and very cool. Okay, well with that said, why don't we head on over into the mine and um, I'm just, I'm curious, right? I'm just curious to try to see how rare it is to find a uranium vein. Um, I wanna have torches so I can carry them in my offhand so we can actually see. Classic me forgetting things. Why are there so many Zambies down here? Not that it really matters, we one hit them. But, um, mm hmm. <laughs> I guess what I will do is I will grab this and I will put it, uh, I will use it in order to parachute down. I should also be on the lookout for, I don't know, any other ores that seem good. Okay, negative 46. I think we were in this area when we ran into the uranium vein otherwise. So, I don't know. Maybe we just kinda like mine. Maybe go down a little bit more. And then we just see uh, what happens as we go. Doesn't seem to be like a great deal of caves around here, so it's kind of like, mm, you know, you do what you can do, right? All right, let's do a little bit of strip mining. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll see what we find. Well, no uranium yet, but what do we got? Apotheosis? Any apotheosis in the house? No, no, no apotheosis. Unfortunate. Um, but man, we got lots and lots of deep slate. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna keep all the deep slate and stuff because we can use it for just having blocks, which, uh, yeah, has been lacking in recent times. Sure, I'll take some books. Sure, I'll take some copper. Get the frick away from me. I didn't invite you, I'm looting. Don't bother me, man. And, um, okay, how about some of that uranium, though? Got ourselves a little, um, a little dungeon, a little dungeon here with nothing terribly great, but, um, yeah, whatever. 
probably cannot apply this trigger finger enchant to a gun, I would assume. We're just limited to the one we've been using for bullet savings, which I need to remember to apply. But, um, okay. It's gonna be really annoying if, if it genuinely uranium can't be found strip mining because it has to be attached to air pockets, which actually, normally, you'd be like, oh, that's, that's a benefit because you can follow caves, but in our case, um, hmm. Not great, because we haven't found any big open cavernous areas. I just got infected from some stupid normie zombie, not even wasteland. Oh, I just had to waste an apple on this freaking guy. Can you even believe it? Okay, hey, where did I go down to get up here? Okay, it was over here. I gotta, I gotta keep track of my bathing here. Otherwise, I'm gonna get real lost, but I don't know, maybe this this seems like the best bet as far as caves to be able to follow. So I guess I'll follow it a little bit and maybe we'll find uranium. What is this? What the frick is this? What are we what are what are we doing? I didn't know we had some like roguelike dungeon kind of things happening here. I can't go down! I got too much step height! Ow! What is this? Huh. I'm kind of doubt Mother Trucker, stay away! This is like those ones that are in the uh, in the end that we've looted where, um, whoa, extra looting. Frick off, you're gonna give me an infection again. These are, this is like the one in the end that uh, Zine blew up me and Pete's. It's like that one. Um, I don't know if it's gonna have anything Noteworthy, quick hands. I still, I don't think any of these are gonna be able to be applied to our weapons. Um, so as exciting as they may seem, I think they're kind of no-goes. I don't think any anything in here is uh, gonna, gonna really do anything for us, if I'm being honest with you. Although it's an interesting structure to find here. Eh, you know, what do we got? What do we got? Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's kind of whatever. It's kind of whatever. Let's keep looking for uranium, I think. I was in the middle of saying I'm starting to give up hope, and there it is. Well, it, one, <laughs> how many is it gonna be like two? Well, oh, oh, it's a little more. Is it affected by fortune? Mm, it's not looking good on that one. And furthermore, we even have, we don't, we don't. We're wearing the cross necklace rather than the thing, by the way, I should, um, well, this thing's almost dead, this vampiric glove, I was gonna say, I should probably not wear my vampiric glove when I'm not in the wasteland, because it's kind of wasteful, but, uh, I forgot my added level of, uh, fortune, although it isn't appearing like it works on uranium anyway, so maybe it doesn't make a difference. All right, we got our first vein, huge, maybe there's another, maybe there's another. Nice, big, wide open caverns being the way to go. Let's keep it rolling. Thingies crossed. And we're too high again. Oh man, and the next spot over there is higher up. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. At least, okay, that, I mean that though, in fairness, it gets us like a decent amount more. Ow, I ran right into that mother trucker. Maybe there's more, maybe there's more. Negative 22, we're too high. I am never gonna find my way back, am I? <laughs> that goes up. This all go up? This all go up over here? Oh my God, there is more! Holy frick, I ran right by it, what an idiot! Oh my God, it's a big vein, it's a big vein. Ooh wee, okay. <gasps> Fortune worked! Okay, guys, uh, we are actually in a very good place right now. Very, very good place. Probably with more uranium than we have gunpowder. So what you're telling me is that I was just incredibly unlucky with the fortune, which is uh, just so me. On the first vein, zero, zero uh, extras. Holy frick. Oh my god, let's go. All right. We can retreat our time in the mine has come to a conclusion, and I think I know the way back out. Let's go. By the way, what do we got? Zero points there. Oh man, if we can max out the attack speed though, our melee is gonna be so strong. Zero there, I'm sure it was all spelunker. So, um, what do we want? Luck is just good for doing looting, I think, even though, yeah, we're not really 
doing too much in the way of needing the loot at this point. We're mostly there with our gear. Uh, but, all that said, all right. Oh, this is gonna be good, dude. We'll, we'll be able to make so many 50 cals, and it's nice that it's like the only bullet we worry about making that uses the uranium, so it's not like we have a trade-off of, oh, but, you know, I could also use the uranium for this other thing. Should I use it for this? It's like, nope, we got it, we use it. Easy peasy. Being told to make this because it'll get us a bonus 30%, huh? And it doesn't require things like graphite rods in order to maintain, I assume. Um, I could do it if we wanted to make our first immersive uh, multi-block structure, maybe, perhaps, skis. I'll think about it. Let's dump this out first. I've actually just learned that if you go into here, you can do this, and it will give you all the blocks that you need for... I didn't realize that it outlined it very nicely in a way that JEI would just be able to kick it into your system, and uh, we can all live happily ever after, which is a thing of beauty, really. Thing of beauty at the end of the day. Okay, let's do a little bit more of that. And how many more did we need? Two, three, four. All right. Let's get the engineer's manual and the hammer. And we will make ourselves the crusher. Oh, we're also going to need some energy cables. Oh, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? It should be pretty cool. And I bet I will never have to change out my chest plate again. Is this thing. This thing's been cooking for a bit here. What are we up to? Uh, 1.4 mil in the flux department. Now, it's good for us to probably dump that out because now we can dedicate that power to the crusher. So I can do this, grab the accumulator back, put the accumulator back downstairs. <laughs> Which I guess I could have just put this up on the level with everything else, but we can put this into there, grab you, which is 241K, put the 1.4 mil, put that in there, and then recombine the two, and now, bada bing, bada boom, we've got ourselves a very, very, heavily powered backpack for all of our railgun needs, which we still have another 119 steel rods. I could put more steel rods in as well, and we can always make more steel rods very, very easily. So we got a good, good sort of powerful weaponry here for us. Okay, I'm thinking that maybe the crusher would be good here, and what we can do is just wire down power from one of our capacitors, um, or one of our HV things, or both of our HV things here, into it. All right, and then all we gotta do is, boom, we got ourselves a crusher. Okay, uh, the power, oh, the power goes in there. I think we have a thing in the, do we have a thing in the corner? Is that where it is? I think it is, yes. Yes, and then we can uh, wire out over to here, boom. And I just need to get the wrench, which I don't carry on me to save backpack space. Um, I guess I could do, oh no, the problem is that's gonna be intersecting, so I'd have to have the, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's all good, I'm pretty sure. We getting power? Are we getting power or are we not getting power? I mean, that is a thermoelectric generator. I am curious if it is prioritizing the top. And so we just have to Maybe shut this off. And then it'll... I wonder if it's prioritizing the other thing. Let's just see. Hello? E do you have interface? How do I do... How do I give you... How do I retrieve the output? Or is it... Oh, it's probably... Oh, do you have to actually just throw things in at the top and then it automatically... Goes... Into the... No, it definitely, the uh, the generators definitely allow you to pull power out of the bottom because we have it pulling out of the bottom to power our ME system. So, um, I don't... Oh, you're so right, that's what it is. It's it's this whole thing. It's this whole, we gotta... Oh god, what's it called? It's another tool. Well, since it's gonna be an idiot, um, instead we'll... Ch I don't know, we'll just use the accumulator that we have some power stored in already and then we can just... I guess keep charging uh, this way, which is... Can you stop being annoyed? Why is everything being broken? All right, I'm just going to put some self-touch here and we are gonna get ourselves... 
the blue ice and and put it I'm actually really curious though. I'm very curious if this thing was just never generating any power at all. Was it just actually not generating any power? Cuz we never had to do any any wrenching of the faces on this thing in order to get it to uh, deploy power out of the bottom when we were uh, using it here. And so, as you can see, that one's actually doing power out of the bottom. Like, is it that? Is it, is it just, is it, is it as simple as that? Because that's actually crazy. Oh my god, it has to be on opposite sides to get the temperature gradient. It really does. Wow. We were not generating any power out of that at all. I could have had twice as much power in my backpack. I could have had twice as much power in my backpack. That is so that is so unbelievably silly. I can't even believe it. That is so unbelievably silly. Okay, anyway, so now I can't remember though. Do we need to add an inventory at the front? Um like a, like a barrel or something or a spruce cabinet. Let's just make a barrel. Or just a chest, I suppose. And then I, I I can't remember. Do we just like physically throw things into the top of it, and then it processes it, and then and then that's it? Let's find out. I don't think we're gonna go through all the power that's in our backpack, but I just feel very I feel very silly about the whole thing. Okay, so <laughs> this is this is gonna be my favorite. All right, is it gonna make it? Hey, there it goes. All right, wait, did it go? Or to just use up all the power. Whoa, that was fast. Hey, double uranium. Okay, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Here we go. It all goes in. Look at it go. Look at it go. Tell me we're getting some real big plays. I love just having the hole in the floor where I can accidentally fall into the crusher. 35. Yeah, that actually 100%. Huge maneuver. That was a big additional turnover. You love to see it about... That was almost 50% extra, by the way. We got kind of lucky on that. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Um, I could. I could indeed put the choop there if I, if I wanted to so that I do not fall down uh, myself. But also the risk of falling into the crusher myself is kind of funny. So, um... I don't think it works like the Create Crushing Wheels, though, unfortunately. I'm sure people were really, really eager to see me just get absolutely shredded. Uh, and that would be the, how the series ended. He gets stuck in the Crusher. It would be a funny end to the series, though. Um, to be sure, it would be a funny end. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. Yeah, no, Crusher, good call. Good call, Mr. Giga Chad, on that one. Let's just wait for that uranium to process, or at least a little bit of it and um, put it to use. Put it to use, very good. Still have been munching this, hold on. I gotta, <gasps> if you eat the bottom one first, the top breaks on top of it. Oh my God, I just wasted an entire pumpkin pie. Can you believe it? What a disaster. What a disaster we have just had occur here. Oh my God. R.I.P. R.I.P. Okay, let's, uh, do we have many other here? We do have some stuff ready to process. What are we at here? Gun pow pow, we still a little bit. All right, more uranium to process. BMG all day long. BMG stands for Big Mother Trucking Gun. In case you weren't aware, that is uh, the actual official military name of it um it take it from me i am a um knowledgeable gunman very knowledgeable gunman from all of my time that i have done with the gun and um yes uh no it is not browning machine gun it is big mother trucking gun so um but i appreciate i appreciate the thought and effort that you you put into that um Okay, back up to the top. I think that we are going to now run out of gunpowder. That's going to be our limiting resource here with all of what we've just gotten. What are we... Oh, my God! Oh, my God, dude! Holy frick, we're going to be able to hit fire the frickin' 50 cal. 
with our coyote optic. Whew. Look at this go. Look at it go. How much until we run out? How much until we run out? Okay, still still good. Still a good bit, bit more. Still a good bit more. I can't remember if the laboratory has gunpowder that we can get. Or no, I didn't want to do that. No, thank you. I can't remember if the lab has gunpowder or not. Anyway, silk touch. Or, uh, sorry. Wrench in there. I don't really need to have the silk touchy poo at this point. And, um, oh yeah, reclaim. Oh my god, this plus reclaim, bro? That is some big mother trucking gun. That's some real big mother trucking gun. Way more than, I think, is that more than we have for the scar? No, a similar amount that we have for the, uh, the scar. So, that is crazy. That is crazy. Okay, we need some hashtag reclaimed. Pardon me. Pardon me for that one. Do we have any money block left? Uh, just a little bit. And we need the villager hat. The lab does have a security room at the very bottom with loads of... Oh, yeah, the security room. That one. I remember we went there very early last time because we took the shortcut where we ran down the, the side stairs. And, uh, which is not necessarily advisable to do, uh, here because of how much we may die from having every floor's worth of zombies start mining down into our position. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't die last time. You know, I actually got very close to dying at one point in the lab last time. And that was not in hardcore mode. So, um... Given how things have gone so far, now that we've done poorly, but I do think there is a very distinct possibility of things going very, very, very badly, if we are not careful, so. Alrighty. Yeah, I know, the multi-floor security room down at the bottom in the stairwell area, yeah, 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 yeah. I am, I am intimately familiar, but, um, okay, guys. I do think it's time. I do think that it is now officially time to start our attempt at the laboratory. Now, we may end up needing to take a trip back to the Mega Skyscraper because uh, when our Vampiric Glove runs out, and let's just confirm, hashtag unbreak, that you cannot do this here, right? No, you cannot. Um, when that breaks, we may encounter a little bit of a bad situation and not want to keep chancing it. So. Alrighty, but what else? Let me just, uh, I don't know why I still have a couple deployed ploys there. What other things are needed in Seeking the Cure? By the way, I should put this in my inventory. Let me complete some quests. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta make the catalog. Alright, the catalog. The, 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 whatever the... Whatever the frick it's called. The research book. You gotta do the research book. Like so, we must make you a very good the catalog. It has been complete. You can't read it. It's just used in the in the deployer recipe, I I believe. Okay, so we got that. Good stuff. And then we also need to um do I have a base gas mask or am I going to have to make another? I'm I'm gonna have to make another, aren't I? Uh, because I, yep, silly me, silly, silly me for not putting the previous one into my inventory, I guess, before I upgraded it to the next thing. All right, there we go. I've, I've definitely found the wasteland and the wooded wasteland, but we'll, we'll let that check off now that we've done the precursor quest. And, um, okay. Back to the wasteland, feeling... Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling great. Suppose I should... Oh, how am I gonna... It'd be nice to have all of these guns stored in my, my inventory, like, at any given time in the hot bar, but... We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're gonna equip... I don't think we care right now about extra level of looting. I think we'd prefer to be able to see... Go oh, I'm blind! Oh my god, my green eyeballs! Um... Yeah, that'll be that'll be a lot better. It'll also make it more difficult to tell what's dark and what's not dark, but I should have worn this down into the mine. Okay, we offhand we offhand so we can we can do like 
swap hot swaps back and forth on the guns or here wherever we want to do it and um that'll be the strat all right guys it is time to go back to the wasteland and enter the laboratory that's all right i should should reload this thing all right eight eight in the extended mag oh boy Oops. I, um, I was watching the waypoint and not the actual road. Uh, okay, there's only 16% damage with a very, very full speed head-on collision straight into a wall, so honestly, that could have been worse. Airbags didn't even deploy, which actually means it should have been pretty bad on my body. Like, just absolutely, absolutely no deceleration time, just instantaneous from like frickin' 100 miles an hour to zero. Oof. It's the thing that it was, it was fascinating when I, I finally became, you know, understanding of the concept that modern cars looking completely crumpled and destroyed, sorry Mr. Cockroach, is actually a good thing uh, for the sake of, of survival instead of a bad thing. And that because of the crumpliness of modern cars, it allows for a longer time duration of the impact, which distributes the force and causes it to be more survivable. Um, but it just, it just looks bad. R.I.P. the car, but instead of the car being fine and the entirety of the deceleration being in your body, uh, the car helps it not entirely be your body. Okay. Oh boy. Well, we got another intoxicator. You know what's concerning is the idea that there could be like a freaking intoxicator that just ends up existing like on top of the lab. All right, what is our best lab? I mean, probably probably this one here, right? It's kind of smack dab in the middle. But actually, I mean, let's just see if we can pinpoint the location of the intoxicator and just make sure that our our laboratory lootage is not like super close to them. Ah, oh, frick, there's a there's a piggy boy. There's a freaking piggy boy. Um, okay. I'm going to All right, in that case, maybe go over to the lab to the north near the military base because I don't want to deal with the pigmans. They're annoying, although I could obviously, you know, hit him with the railgun or the fitty cow. I'm actually curious if the railgun, I wonder if the railgun does not like, ah, oh, ball sacks. I wonder if the railgun doesn't actually like alert nearby zombies because it's, it's not like a gun. It's not a gun in the sense of like the timeless uh, gun mod. And I don't actually know what it, thinks about when it's deciding whether or not something qualifies as, like, alerting zombies. Um, I know it has gun in the name, but it's, like, totally different. Oh, there's always going to be a clogger. Not if I can help it. Not on my watch. There ain't going to be no cloggers around these parts. This is a clogger-free zone. Actually, to be fair, remember, we already took out a clogger over here. So, it may not, it may be that we already dealt with the one. Because if I, my money would be on the clogger that we fought over there, being a spawn from this lab. Okay. Oh. Here goes, oh, of course it's a freaking horde building. Of course it's a double horde. So, we're going to want to probably just, like, see if we can contend with some horde building -age. For the time being. Oh, frick off, dude. Ow, what the? Why am I? Okay, I didn't, I didn't lose health. Why did I just go like creepy black screen? Holy frick. Okay, are those guys armored? 
No, they're not terribly bad. Zombies are getting lesser. Who the frick is causing this to happen to me? Part of me is like, let me save my vampiric glove for things actually get gnarly at a certain point. I want to see what happens if we take this off, if it actually is, like, bad. Because I'd like to save it. If possible. Who kaboom Was that a clogger? No. The zombies are not fully lessened, though, so what the frick? Damn you, you stupid infections! I'm gonna wait it out a little bit. Okay, yeah, those dudes have some pretty, pretty gnarly health. They really do. Okay, come on, when are we done here? When are we done? Bro, I just have no idea where the spawners are located. Okay, God. Oh, well, there's one. There's one. Oh, hi, everybody. Okay, hello, everybody. Oh, there, gang's all here. Gang's all here. IP headphone users, sorry about that. Um, but that worked. Okay, I don't think most of these guys actually have to do with the horde. Oh, it's a freaking heavy again, damn it! Zombies, I need you to get lesser. We've been at this for days now. I'm only getting I'm only getting minor amounts of uh only getting minor amounts of the zombies getting lesser. Ah, freaking Pergonte, dude. Oh boy. Okay, you don't see zombies in this building anymore. That's a, that's a stretch. Bit of a stretch. Can we frick off with, oh God, I'm thirsty as heck. Bro, the, the freaking katana just makes you so thirsty. Okay, no zombies. There we go. That's two horde building or two uh, hordes done. I can reach, bro. I can like reach some of them from here. That's crazy. That's crazy reach. All those hits that I was taking underground from the zombies were like completely unnecessary. Okay, back off. Back off. I could have. I could have started taking swings at them from when they were like. 50 blocks back from where I was actually attacking them. Yeah, okay. My infection is... I'll just do another. Here we go. Hey, you don't see zombies in this building anymore. Let's go. Also, keep in mind, we do have uh, some degree of natural regen because of where our food is at, I believe. Unless we are actually, like, super bugged here and it's not... Yeah, I... It is annoying... It is actually really annoying. I think that some of my food stuff is decreasing, even though I'm eating the MREs. I think it's kind of, I think it's actually kind of busted. Oh, you're a mining man. I hear a mining man, he's on his way. Oh God, oh frick. Oh, hold on, God dang it.
What the frick? What the frick? Who? He's invisible. Guys, he's invisible. He's invisible. I don't like that. I am not a fan of multiple invisible zombies. Multiple invisible mans. Okay, everybody has suddenly become invisible. And my food is busted and the zombies are invisible. Uh, is not a great combination of things. Oh. Oh, the lab dudes, like, actually do cloud invis? Holy frick, that's wild. Okay. Oh my god, I need to throw things out. Holy frick. What a mess. I'm gonna end up running by this area and picking it up again, but... Ay ay ay. Okay. So. Um. Here we go. Here we go. I did see a spawner up here. And hopefully we can take out. I am hoping that we may have actually gotten a good amount of the horde stuff uh, sorted out. Oh, never mind. Here's another one. Okay, frick you. All right, I mean, this thing, this building occupies so many chunks that it's almost like I guarantee you're gonna have a frick load of horde, but I feel like once we've actually, once we've tackled that, we'll be good. Um, there is a trash can in my bag. You're very right about that. <laughs> okay, where are they? Where are they? It's another one of these guys. God dang, he's trying to throw a frickin' block at my face. Spawners? The first floor is unique, and so the first floor is gonna be a bit more of a challenge to just find and clear all the spawners. Um, then, you know, once we get down to the lower floors, it'll be so redundant that we'll kind of get used to where things are at. And, um... God, these lab dudes have mad health, though. Okay, where are the horde building dudes at? Hello? Oh God, he's me! Oh, 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 there they are, there they are. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Yikes. Yeesh. Slow reload. Slow reload. He's down. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Whew. Hey, here comes the horde. Again, just trying to save the vampiric. Zombies getting lesser. And we did it. Okay, that is another horde down. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I hear the mining zombies again. There is no silencer for the fitty kill. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry guys. It just be that way. Okay. All right. That is good news for us. Let me check over here. See if we got any more spawners to clear. I'm sure there are a few. Maybe not. Oh, wow. Hey, grab a few of these. Why not? Just in case. Just in case. Oh, come on. I don't know why we're getting just the, the darkness thing showing up all the time here. It seems wildly unnecessary and overstated. What? Did the Pregante just explode posthumously on me? I think it did. What a little frick! What did... I am unamused. I'm unamused by this. Alright, we got a couple more Zambies down there. Um, I think we're good on the spawners. Alright, so... Oh god, the question is, like, am I... Do I light these areas up? Do I try to light things up? I don't know. The top level might be fairly lit up. I am being haunted by miniature exploding boomer biles here, and I'm upset about it. 
The little mini Pregantes are ruining my life. All right, I'm going, I'm going down. I'm going down. There's probably a freaking bajillion dudes on this level, maybe. Oh yeah, they've already started their mining expedition, huh? Freaking annoying. So freaking annoying. All right, I'm gonna figure out where all the spawners are. Try to keep mental note of it. And then I will be able to rinse and repeat on every floor. I could actually use that. Anything good in here? Anything good? Um, Mr. Gigachad did say, uh, don't even loot until you've cleared the floor. Um, or cleared all the floors, I should say. But we aren't getting entirely assaulted at the moment, so... Frick off? It's, uh, yeah, I'd say our biggest concern, you're, you're probably right, is just, um... Just a mining zombie spleefing us would probably be one of the bad things. Can break the cabinets instead of looting. I could do. I could do, but I don't know what's in every single one, and it could be... Oh, come on, dude. Hitting me through walls? Freaking glitter dudes are so annoying. Alright, over here. Oh. Hello, spawner. Odd place for you to be. God, there's spawners in just every single room, aren't there? Wait, oh, that's how you enter through there. Damn it again! Ah, oh, God, dude, it's so annoying! What are you- oh, God, here comes the spleef! Here comes the spleef! He's- uh, he's spleef! Oh, God, he's- oh, Lord, he's spleefing! Oh, Lord, he's spleefing! Oh, Lord, they spleef in there! Oh, God! Oh, God, the spleefs are happening! Good there. Um, probably more. There's a little bit of a concern that if I get end up down there, there are a lot of zombies that are waiting. Okay, we did those. Um, we did those. Wait, is there no? Oh my god, bro. There's, I mean, there's just spawners like everywhere. I don't know how in the world I'm going to be able to keep track of. Like, all the possible spawner locations. Oh, lordy, keep spleefing. Oh, there's another one? Bro, this is every floor. This is going to take ten years. I can't even get to the ones over there because they're spleefing me. through there. What do you mean? Get wrecked. Oh, balls. Oh, again! Okay, we're good. We are getting a little bit laggy, which concerns me in that, um... Oh god, yeah, there's a spleefage. Uh, the lag concerns me because it means a frickload have generated and they're all in wait underneath me. And, um... Kinda makes me wanna leave and come back so that I can let this, I can let them despawn and then kinda have a, another fresh go. And that is confirmed by a Mr. Giga Chad that this is it's time to go. It's time to go once we start lagging. I should probably leave and let them all 
go away and then come back in a bit. Okay, sounds like a good idea. Yes, siree. I will do that. Sick rolls. I wish there was another military base, like, nearby that we could kind of, you know, hot swap to really quick. That's how you died, ignoring lag until it was too late. Wow. We can learn from others' mistakes, at least. Also hope that there are no intoxicators that decide to spawn right on top of that lab and make it so I can't continue to loot it. That would be very disappointing. Okay, what else is there to... Kill time around here. It's just going to be like a lot of back and forth, isn't it? Between um, here and home. How far do... I don't actually know how far away I have to go in order for them to despawn. Like, I don't have to go all the way back home, I don't think. Got it. So I basically just... I just have to stand here for a bit, hang out, or go home, but... I mean, I could I could take a trip out to the other uh, the other mega, mega skyscraper and... Get more vampiric gloves. To be fair, I did just go through a lot of med kits. Well, that was 10 med kits. Which, um... I mean, we have a lot. We have a lot here. We have a decent amount. But, you know, the lab also has, like, 50 floors. So, I do have the helicopter on me. I don't have any, um... I don't have any uh, fuel, though, unfortunately. And also, my car is here, so I can't just leave my car, you know? I just wish that, um, like, it's weird to me that we are, oh, okay, I was about to say, it was weird to me that we hadn't gotten more points in combat, and I'm like, okay, yeah, we got more points in combat, there we go, our attack speed go burr, anything here, yep, our stamina go burr, our defense go burr, very good, very good, bro, all I gotta do is full max here, Whew. And we are going to be popping off, like, swinging like crazy, and... Hello. Yes, it is a katana. I also have a 50 cal. <laughs> and I also have this. What a mix of weapons. Yes. I go... Boom. It missed. Dang it. <laughs> don't laugh at my aim. I don't know if there's bullet drop, actually. It's a good question, but... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I am... I am a great, powerful authority here, okay? Look. Nosk. Nosk. Stop laughing! Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I have made decision. I will, um, in interest of letting uh, uh, mob amounts uh, cool down, I will actually make return over to Mega Tower. That is very far away, Mega Tower. And um, inside said Mega Tower, I will uh, loot hopefully more vampiric gloves. Fingies crossed. Maybe take some more damage, which I can use to uh, level things up and have super duper attack speed, which will be awesome. And it will be the best. It'll be the best thing that ever was. Yay! I wonder if I can actually just. Am I at. Sorry, Bear. Um, am I at turbo, like, just straight up spam click speed on this? I'm pretty close. Maybe not exactly spam click speed, but uh, I bet once fully fully leveled, it is spam click speed. Okay, let's do that. And then by the time we come back here next, we will have a nice clear thing. And then we'll basically just have to rinse and repeat, though. Uh, over and over. Clearing, coming back, clearing, coming back. Uh, until we can go through every freaking... Oh, man, you want to know about the Swick headphones that I'm rocking? Let me tell you, they are the Astro A50X, and you can actually get them from our sponsor, Logitech G, for 20, or, sorry, 10% off with code Captain Sparkles by going to the link in the description. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I keep crashing. This time because I was talking about sponsor. Uh, let me make a 
Glitch. Hold on. Quick, quick look. Um, 21% damage. We're still mostly okay, fortunately. These windshields and my face are very resilient. You know what I was just thinking? Um, the netherite upgrade. Can we do, can we do a netherite pickup upgrade? Is that just smithing table? Or does it even exist, I suppose? Let me see. Or not pickup upgrade, uh, but stack upgrade. Netherite tier. It, <laughs> Okay, maybe not on that one. I think I probably looked at that earlier, and I was like, ooh. Okay. That's, uh, it's, it's pretty, that's a lot right there. That's a pretty big one. That's a pretty big one right there. Ooh, wow. Yeah, it's a handful of Mega Towers worth of, um, uh, do we, yeah, I could do a secondary diamond stack arena. How many spots would that save us in the back? Actually, pretty decent amount. And I, oh wait, I haven't even gone a, uh, I haven't even gone to diamond level there. Well, that's cool. Let me let me diamond level that thing up, and that'll be pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Pretty big, pretty big boost to our uh, abilities. I cannot remove existing one because too many things are in big sticks, and quite frankly, I am too lazy. I am much too lazy to go and spread out the different stacks of things. Instead, I will make. I will make new stack upgrade and even possibly I take this to diamond level. Perhaps uh, 51 iron, how many gold? 34 gold, how many diamond? Uh, the diamond is little, well, we do have many diamond ore, so you know we can make this work. Big iron upgrade, big diamond upgrade, I mean uh, gold upgrade, big diamond upgrade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a lot of diamonds, but what else are we gonna use them for anyway? Okay, check it, check it, check it. And now, boom, and now, boom, everything comes together. 615, 353. Which could make more, actually, if we wanted to. Do, do we have any more gunpowder? 19 more gunpowder. I mean, you know. Sure. Why not just throw whatever we have in gunpowder into here? So I think there's probably, maybe, is there more 61 uranium versus nothing? So, yeah. Can make a few more fitted cow bullets and just put them into the machine and uh, keep it going. The gold one can be diamond now too. No, no, it can't because I already middle mouse clicked. Well, actually, I can fix that, but I, I also need more diamond though. So I don't know. We'll see. I guess I could. I guess if you want me to. If you're really wanting me to just do that, and then I can take out the. This one, and then I can put the stuff back in, and then we can middle mouse click after, I guess. That's gonna be a big RIP to all our diamonds, though. Like, massive RIP. I better I better mine some, otherwise we are going to be in a bit of doo-doo. We're going to be in a little bit of doo-doo on our diamond capacity. But yeah, what, what, I know, what else am I using? I mean, occasionally we use diamonds for, for various, various things. It happens every now and again. All right, how many are we gonna get? I've just broken my my building. I've just broken my building. God dang it, guys. This is not my fault. You're the ones who are like, make the diamond upgrade. I can't believe you've broken my building. I can't believe you did that. Okay, and then let me use a stone brick to fix my building. Replace it with a diamond block. Oh, oh, now what do you think? Just Mr. Moneybags over here. Oh, replace everything with just diamond blocks. Build. Why do you build the whole tower with diamond blocks to begin with? Now that you have diamonds, everything should be diamond blocks. Why didn't you just, you were in the mine earlier. Why didn't you, why didn't you get more diamonds, huh? I don't think I missed any diamonds. I think I mined the ones that I actually came into contact with. I don't think we had any jarred on missed diamonds moments, I believe. All right, here we go. Oh my god, guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to put on the scarf to... Oh, no, 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 wait. Yeah, no, I forgot to put on the thing that gives you an extra level of fortune. That was, uh, that was bad. That was bad, dude. I've just ruined myself. Just absolutely ruined everything for myself. Can you believe it? Can you believe that I did that right there? Can you even believe that I just did that? Okay, there we go. And I don't think this actually saves us any additional slots in the backpack because as it stands, we were already one stack on everything anyway, but anyway, there we go. Now we have extras just, just in case, just in case we want them. Very most excellent indeed. Do I have any more deep slate, by the way? Oh, I can just take all the deep slate. 
stack it up in there. I could even do a refill upgrade if I wanted to do a little refill on the deep slate. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I also don't need the ratatouilles and the pasta with the meaty balls. So a lot of stuff can go back into there. And then, um, okay. I think we're good. Let's go take a trip back. Oh, you know what? Maybe even hit up, I can even try to hit up the military base. Maybe depending upon how many vampire gloves we have and see if we can get more. Although we're, we're in the uranium realm now. We don't really need to worry about lead anymore to be fair. All right, all nice and filled up. And let's vamoose out of here. Okay. Surely I will uh, get my directions correct and not obliterate the vehicle. I think the only vehicle obliteration is the early on um, conundrum, and it's a straight shot. Other than that, we have arrived. So let's just try this. I think it will be okay, because the only reason why we couldn't return here last time is because the intoxicator was uh, kind of freaking us up over in a different place. This should be okay, and then we're right next to the base of the Mega Tower. Very nice. All right. Hello, Mega Tower. Hey, you guys want to? Let's let's check. Let's see if the helicopter has any fuel in it. Be a great time. Be a great time to check, and then maybe we can just get up to the top in our little military chopper. It does have fuel. Well, that's just really darn epic, right there. Here we go, big uppies. Going up. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Easy peasy. I'm going to get really cold up here, I bet. That's going to be a little annoying. We get good at landing these things, man. Flawless. Flawless victory there. There we go. I just love being able to pop the helicopter into our backpack. It's so convenient. <laughs> I also like how if you're not moving and you hit R, it does do the roll, and you don't take damage, but uh, it doesn't actually roll. It's pretty cool. Anyway, alrighty, new mega tower. A little bit of money, a little bit of money. I mean, we're gonna get lots of money, actually, to be fair. We're gonna get many, many monies. All the monies are going to be acquired, and it's going to be very cool. I'm also accidentally mining out all the sidewalls for some reason. Oh, I entered a horde building. Oh, this is fricked. Really? You're going to make me deal with this? I crumba. I crumba, bro. All right. Let's do a little bit of that. And then... um. I'm just gonna manually loot these, and then once we start heading down into the lower areas, then we'll just do our our usual loot breaky breaky. You know how it is. Alrighty. Um, I don't think I need this stuff there really. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it at all. Oh, uh, I do need to do axe for looting. So I guess we'll do that in the fifth slot and. Um, here we go, everybody. It is time. It is time to, oh wait, turn on the pickup upgrade and uh, away we go. Stupid cobweb, damn it. Let me guess, I got a backpack. Ah, oh, it's so freaking annoying and dumb. I did forget to uh, equip the Magneto, but I think it'll be all fine. I'm actually just so fast, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You gotta stop! You gotta stop with this garbage! Oh my god, it can't keep happening! You can't keep getting away with this! I am just backpack, 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 everything, every, everywhere I go is a backpack. Stop having backpacks in every single... Oh, frick, that was a looter chest. That's my bad. That was my bad right there. Oopsie doopsie. Can you blacklist? You can't blacklist... Oh, guys! It's a horde night. Uh, it's day... It's not at day 100 yet, so... Um, I don't think it's that big of a concern, but I definitely hadn't been paying a great amount of attention to that whole deal. 
I don't think the horde would spawn uh, up here, though. They would always spawn, like, a certain distance away, right? And so I don't think that we'd have to worry about, like, any real, real horde intrusion. I guess we'll find out. Hey, guys. Bye, guys. Just absolute decimate, bro. Oh, you gotta stop. I feel like I'm running into so many more backpacks than I was running into last time. Any vampire clothes? That's the one that I already had. Which is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It's a freaking backpack. Literally, it's always a backpack. How many backpacks? How many backpacks can it can it have? How can he pack? I like how I mean, we're just hearing the different waves of, of the horde outside. I mean, man, this would be the time to start interacting with the. God damn you! This would be the time to start interacting with the Horde now that we got the Fitty Cows. Any vampire gloves? I'm going to be so bummed if I go through this entire thing and, and I do not get a single vampiric glove. It's going to actually be the worst. It truly is going to be the worst if that is what happens here. I will be upset. I just been in there. Oh, that's the wrong way. I guess I should just block that up. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? Y'all got any of them gloves? Any vampires home? Shout out to the vampires, you know? Would love to, love to get some of your gloves if you guys would be so inclined. Um, but I guess I shouldn't get my hopes up, you know? Uh, nope. Nope. Bro, I just actually one hit. It's crazy. I could honestly, I could totally dive into the, uh, I could probably dive into the horde and be completely fine. Alright, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. No more vampiric. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We did. We did. Got a new vampiric. Huge. Okay. That's the main thing we're looking for. If I could get two of them in here, I would feel pretty good about, you know, being able to just wear them and not have to worry too much about their durability when we're going into, uh, the library. I said it on purpose this time, guys. I said it on purpose. Uh, the laboratory? They're gonna be like, ah, sure you did. Ah, uh, sure you did. What happened to the- Oh, God, I threw my shovel back! Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Oh jeez, was that on the floor above? Frick, frick, frickin' back, back, god damn it. I, yeah, 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 what have I done? One sec, one sec, let me just do this and I'll go up. Man, mm, the backpack, god! Destroyed my freaking life every backpack, god dang it. It's up, it's up here, wasn't it? Freaking up here. It wasn't, wasn't there. No. Was it in there? No. Oh my freaking god, which one? Guys, where was? Oh god, where was it? Oh no, 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 no. Was it in here? No. Wait, was it in here? No. Oh, frick me up. Uh. Was it in here? No. Oh god, was it in the last chat room? Last room I looked. There it is. God dang it. I left my beautiful, my beautiful efficiency five shovel. How could he? How could I have done this to you? Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I didn't. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, buddy. You've been so nice. You've been so nice. Okay. Uh, did we loot everything on? We looted everything on this floor already. Yo, we we're just so fast. Hey guys. Bye guys. 
Vampire gloves. Vampire gloves. God damn you, stupid. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's going to be another one, isn't there? One of these days, that's going to probably kill me. Oh, I hear someone mining. I hear somebody mining. Oh, you're not mining anymore. <laughs> Whoa, he fast. Holy frick, what happened there? Man's going crazy. Still got infected. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Um, but still only plus one on the vamp glove, which is uh, sad. I am at a thousand monies. It's pretty crazy kind of just seeing that all in one stack. I wonder how far we stack actually at the moment. Come on, come on, come on, pretty please. Still none. It's not looking good for our hero. If he is a hero. Frick. Um, you think I'm the villain? That's that's fair. That's fair. I almost deleted my beautiful shovel that, that worked so hard. Oh no, I've encountered the horde building that I was already in. Uh oh. Pascadios! It's gonna get real, real tricky here. Actually, it's probably gonna happen. Is I'm, I'm gonna get a backpack. That's the only thing they can do to stop me outside of the wasteland is hit me with a backpack in order to ruin my life. Oh, don't get rid of that. What, is, what am I doing? I think this might be the last floor, which means that our hopes of double vamp glove are fading dramatically. It is very sad. But at least we got oh, one. For all of the backpacks that I, I have had to deal with, I feel like I do deserve a second glove. But the universe appears to think otherwise. Another umbrella. The air is quiet. The horde has stopped. Who, who is there? Who is doing that? What are you? Are you trying to mine? Guys, we survived the horde <laughs> again. You know, it turns out that um, defeating the horde, it was really just about ignoring them. And that was it. Okay, well, it was only one vampiric, which is a little bit sad. Um, but here we are. You know what I kind of, I'm almost inclined to do is just like, what if we just went and parachuted down? Uh, Cause we have to go down anyway. So it's like, what if we just parachuted down and just made some quick work of the basement area? I bet we could. I bet we have the uncanny ability to frick things up. I don't think the intoxicator is going to be in the basement here. Um, what if we just... What if we just... And then mine through the elevator. I don't even think I need to worry about all the... You know, the, the first level of the parking garage. Because we already have a, a bunch of the sheets. So, like, that's fine. I think we just, we just like pop in here real quick. Yeah, don't even have anyone to worry about. Hello. Hello, everybody. Okay. Why can't I? Oh. It's like, why can't I move? And a little netherite block for good measure. Okay, sick. Very sick. I don't actually know if you can spawn a wither in this or not. Like, we do have a couple of the. We do have a couple of the, the wither skeleton skulls. 
All right, uh, bro. I'm just actually gonna like monster my way through this place. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We take a little damage. Let me just give myself a little boost really quick. Is that a trap? Escort me. Escort me, man. We got this. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Provide some tunes. I got my hype man. I got my hype man. He's with me on the exit. I gotta be really careful not to accidentally take a swing at my hype man. You frickin' Pregante! Oh, double Pregante! Are they both just actually full dead? I think they're both full dead. That's wild. Sick tunes. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, it's the mini Pregantes. God dang it. Oh, no. Oh, actually balls. Actually huge balls. Frick the backpack. No, they pushed me back into the backpack. I'm still backpacked. You gotta stop. Oh my God. It was the day the music died. Oh, that's such a good idea to just throw it in the trash. I keep forgetting about the trash component of my inventory, which is truly, truly something I should be considering. Can I reach you guys down there? Farewell, Pregante. Goodbye. Okay, where was it? Where was my... Uh, it was this building here. Yeah, I mean, it may not have been that big of a deal. Oh! He's on his way! I'm going to go now! I'm going to uh, leave! I will be going, yes! Good luck trying to follow me down here! I am nimble, I am quick, I am small, and you cannot reach me! Ha ha! Okay, I'm going to go now. I will depart. We have uh, uh, successfully looted the Mega Tower, and that was all that we needed. And we've made it home! Safe and sound, everybody. Safe and sound. How much gas did we go through? Man, that's crazy. It is only one third of a tank to do that entire 14, 15,000 block trip. That is a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Okay. So, um, I guess let's deposit everything. It's a good amount of money right there, and that wasn't even all of it because we took out a few stacks before. Pretty good. Cool. Now we're we doing here. 13% full. Oh no, we might run out of space. So energy drinks, ooh, got a decent amount. So you're saying swap those out for the apple juice so that we can get some big buffs um, when we are inside of the library. I said it again on purpose, just, you know, just just so you're, just so you're aware, you know, just, just so you know. Um, and all right, well, Okie dokie. So, I think our windmill is uh, having a a bit of a time here. <laughs> um, but I think that's our cue to wind down the episode. We'll start off next time by going back into the library and um, keep on trying to clear it out. Maybe I'll get impatient and I'll just be like, time to dive down to the bottom floor and get the key card and go. Because I don't want to spend the whole time doing it. We'll see. Surely that wouldn't go super duper wrong and end the series. Uh, surely. But all we need is to get into the mining dimension and get the brain from the flying dude and be good to go. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to Captain Sparkles 2. Follow at twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles to catch these live. And um, that is pretty much it. I will see you. Dang, look at that thing. Look at that bitty girl. I'll see you next time. <laughs>